What's up, my inspiration? Words are containers for power. You choose what kind of power they carry. Quote from Joyce Myers. There are three things we can't recover in life. The word after it's said, the moment after it's missed, and the time after it's gone. This also applies to our actions which are interpreted by words. See, words are at the core of our very existence, and once spoken or put into action can be life-changing. I mean, look at it this way. In order for us to do anything in the world, it has to first start with a word, a thought, then a corresponding action. Now, speaking for myself, I've been guilty on several occasions for saying or doing things that have certainly yielded negative results. In other words, I've had my share of incidents which have warranted an apology on my part. Not only an apology to others, but to myself as well. Because me, myself, and I have intense conversations regularly. Now, we all certainly are free to say and do as we please. However, no one is free from the consequences of those choices. So what have you said or done in the past that you wish you could take back? An example could be that text, social media post, or phone call attacking another family member that you have yet to delete or apologize for. How about those harsh words you may have unleashed on someone before realizing there was a misunderstanding. Or even worse, how about that negative self-talk that's kept you from living your best life? Well, life has no rewind feature. So let's focus on the present and moving forward, use this gift to be better than we were yesterday. Which brings me to a helpful tool I came across that will surely improve your quality of life starting today as long as you're deliberate and intentional in using it consistently. Before you speak, think. T, is it true or thankworthy? If what you are thinking about saying to self or others is not accurate or based on facts, but potentially harmful and misleading or something your future self would not thank you for, then you might want to reconsider saying it. H. Is it helpful? Will your words be uplifting, provide support, good advice, guidance, and assistance or will they be harmful or damaging? If they are in fact unhelpful it is best to send them to your mental wastebasket. I. Is it inspiring? If what you are thinking about saying to self or others is not energizing, motivational, inspirational, or transformational but dangerous and mentally destructive, then it need not be said. N. Is it necessary? A smart person knows what to say, a wise person knows whether or not to say it. If what you are thinking about saying to self or others is harmful, hurtful, degrading, untrue, toxic or just not necessary, don't say anything. Sometimes silence is the perfect answer when words fail you. K. Is it kind? If what you are thinking about saying to self or others is not polite, considerate, or humane, send this thought to your toxic wastebasket. In a world where you can be anything, be kind and speak with kindness. See, our words can hurt or heal, destroy or build up ourselves and anyone we encounter. So before you speak, think. And if your thoughts aren't true or thankworthy, helpful, inspiring, necessary or kind, So, take care of your thoughts when you're alone, and take care of your words when you're with people. Speak life, love, and success. This is James Alexander, your mental health and wellness coach, aka your inspirational wordsmith, helping humanity rise one word at a time. And remember, words are free. It's how you use them that might be costly. Have a phenomenal day. If you or someone you know is considering suicide, please contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK.
7416-8255, or text, HELP to the Crisis Text Line at 741741. Or go to suicidepreventionlifeline.org.